Hello bunnies and welcome back or to the Lim Bunny A Cozy Space to Talk Books. So today is New Year's Eve and I thought what to do than spend my time resetting my reading for 2024, the upcoming year. So we have a few things on our agenda slash task list today that includes ordering all of the books in which I have read, whether that be digital or via audio that I don't own, that I want to own, that I enjoyed. Um, so I've got a list of those and I'm going to go through Waterstones, I'm going to add them to my car and order them because this has been something in which has been building up for quite some time now. Um, I don't order every single book that I don't own that I listen to via audio or that I read digitally um, because I don't enjoy them all but these are the books I've read, I've enjoyed and I want in my collection so we're going to be doing that. I'm also going to be going through my book and reviewing what series I've started and creating a kind of series tracker and get on top of all of the series I'm currently in the middle of. However that will be a separate video um, so yeah look out for that one I'm really excited to see and get to grips with what series I'm reading and what's going on with that and then the final thing in which we have to do is go through my currently reading pile and just see what I have to read and what I'm currently in the middle of so I can kind of get on top of that within the early stages of 2024 and almost start the year afresh. So I hope that all makes sense, I hope that it, that is exciting. I'm looking forward to this reset and hopefully refresh so let's get to it. So let's start off by going through the stack of books that I have that I'm currently making my way through and that I'm currently reading. So beginning with Babel, I have, or Babel, I began reading it quite a while ago now and I'm 68 pages through and I just haven't picked it up since I started it. It's not because I'm not enjoying it because I am absolutely loving it but just other things and my mood reader self has taken over. Then next up we have Portrait of a Thief in which is actually my Bunny's Book Club pick for the month of January so this will definitely get read at that month. Um, I ha obviously haven't read it yet as such or started it because it's not January yet and I have a little bit of time to do so um, but a spoiler filled video will be coming for this one. Then we have a Venom Dark and Sweet and I am 90 pages through this one. This was following on from the first book and this I think it's a duology. I read that one, really enjoyed it. That one is called um, Magic Steeped in Poison I think. I just found that this pacing a lot slower than the first installment um, so that's probably why I put it down and I had I got in the mood for something else. Then we have one in which has been on my currently reading pile for a while and which was The Thursday Murder Club. I picked this up and I just didn't enjoy it but I feel as though it does have potential to be a good book. Next up is Tripping Velvet, again one I've been in the middle of for quite some time, 84 pages through, it's quite dense, quite a lot of writing to intake I suppose and the plot isn't really progressing very fast at this stage um, so yeah we'll try a chapter of this one again and see whether I want to completely DNF it or continue on with it and then the final one in which I've had all the way since August as I started reading this while I was on holiday is Plain Bad Heroines and this is such a big book, um, I got 82 pages through I think I actually started listening to the audiobook of this one but I wasn't quite enjoying it so again it's going to be one in which I'll try a chapter of and see whether I want to completely DNF or stay reading so I'm going to do that for Plain Bad Heroines, Tripping Velvet, The Thursday Murder Club and also A Venom Dark and Sweet and then in terms of Portrait of a Thief I'm obviously going to be reading this for the Bunny's Book Club pick for January and then Babel slash Babel I'm going to continue reading in the month of January slash an ongoing read. That's what I'm going to do next. I just finished reading my chapter of Tripping Velvet and I am going to DNF this one. I'm taking out my bookmark now. Um, I'm sad because I feel as though this one had so much potential to be a good read but the chapters are just so incredibly long and I don't like books with long chapters. I feel as though it's just been the same plot and the same thing ongoing for like a hundred pages now in which is quite saddening. It, the intrigue at the beginning was so investing um how she was just enamored by this other woman um and 
yeah I just feel as though it's just losing me and I hate DNFing things because I just hold on to the hope that it could be something great and that I might actually miss out on something but just because I'm DNFing it doesn't mean I'm going to completely get rid of it and doesn't mean I can't go to it in future um so yeah that is going to be the status of tripping velvet sadly it's going to be a DNF <laughs> So chapter of Plain Bad Heroines has been read and I am going to continue reading this one. I don't want to DNF it. I am having a lot of fun and I just found the interaction between the two main characters really interesting. I'm only on page 88 but it is still, it's it's fun. It's giving me this sort of like lighthearted kick your feet in school feeling in which I know a book is good and that I'm enjoying a book kind of get that feeling kind of like in my gut and in my chest. Um, So yeah, I'm going to continue reading this one. And I feel like that's why this challenge of like the tread chapter bit has been really beneficial because I knew just from the feeling that this one I want to keep reading it whereas when I was reading Tripping Velvet I was just getting the exact opposite I was just checking how long until the chapter was over and I just don't want my reading to be like that so yeah this one is going to be a keep. the chapter finished of the Thursday Murder Club this time so now I am on page 32 and I am enjoying this one now I've picked it back up I'm finding the characters really interesting and very three-dimensional it is such an easy read in terms of the pacing and the chapters are so short so incredibly short I'm already on chapter eight despite being only 32 pages in um so I'm going to continue reading this one I am deciding not to DNF it and I actually have book two so I feel like that is a good decision especially considering how much I did enjoy that little short segment that I just read. some more action started happening in Venom uh, Venom dark and sweet when I was reading it and I ended up reading two chapters instead of just one so now I'm on page 109 and I'm going to keep reading this one it's got and picked up so much adventure um and I feel like with all of, always with sequels there are some bits in which it does drag a bit because you are used to that character you are used to the world and it's just sort of the plot that's driving it and perhaps some more character development whereas in this case it's very much the plot that is driving this book so I feel as though that's why I became a bit lost and disinterested in it um, but yeah just stepping back into it very very briefly um, I already devoured two chapters so I need to continue reading this one too. But I feel as though that was very beneficial I'm going to continue reading Plain Batterians, Thursday Murder Club and A Venom Dark and Sweet and then sadly DNF Tripping the Velvet. I'm happy with that decision. I'm glad I did this little try chapter segment um, because I feel as though it made me excited for these three books again. Then in terms of next steps for this video I've decided I'm not going to to include the serious part that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. I'm just going to do that as a separate video in itself because I feel as though that would be a lot to make this video extremely long if I started going through every single series on my shelf, pulling them out, putting them in piles, etc, etc. So I'm just going to do that separately. So in, in terms of next steps for this particular video, I am going to review whether I have any um, in-book reviews left. And to explain, I basically have a A5 sheet of card in which I write mini reviews and stick them in the front of each of my books once I've read them. And then it means when I go to my library, I can just pull them off the shelves. And if I want to be refreshed or reminded, they have the themes in there. And then just a kind of summary review of what I thought of the book, my star rating and the date when I started and finished the novel. Um, and I've just been finding them really, really useful and personalise my book. Um, and yeah, so I've got a whole backlog 
backlog of those um, to do. So I'm going to see how many I've got left because I do need to order some more paper and create some more. Um, but I'm going to complete the ones in which I have because at the moment I've just been storing my mini reviews on my notes app. So I'm going to transfer those across to the actual books and see how many I can get through. There are quite a handful of books in which I have acquired and read in different formats, whether that be via audiobook or digitally, that I really enjoyed and want in my own collection. So that's basically what I'm shopping for to soon here. First up was Miss Ice Sandwich, in which I really absolutely enjoyed, and then Thorn Hedge, in which I have um, my reviews for all of these in my wrap ups and in reading vlogs. I believe absolutely all of these books I read in reading vlogs or I've mentioned in wrap ups. Um, but yeah, I do this quite often when I have read a audiobook or a digital book that I really enjoy, I add it to a wish list and then every so often I'll kind of bulk buy when I have the funds to do so um, all of these books to add to my collection um, because yeah, although I didn't read them physically, sometimes I do like to go back and annotate in them and see what their physical form is like because obviously when you're reading them or experiencing them via audio or via digital, it is a bit of a different experience than um, the physical read. Sometimes there are illustrations within these books, sometimes there are pretty headers and just to be able to get all of the experiences is something that I'm very grateful for and something that I really enjoy doing. Um, so yeah, this is quite a, a often occurrence but for some reason they have just been building up and up in my wish list so I've got quite a, an amount to order here um, but usually I order about three or four at a time so they don't usually amount to this but as we're doing a reset today I thought it was a very good time to get ordering some of these. friends I have just finished doing all of my in-book reviews well the amount that I can do with the paper I have for all of my books I showed you an example of what they are and basically they just help me keep my library mine I suppose and also it helps me when I pull them back off the shelves and if I want to reread them I know what tropes are included in them the date that I read them and it helps me recap as well like a small amount because I do have a memory like a goldfish um so anyway that comes to a close of our reset for 2024 I hope you have a very happy new year friends and that 2024 is good to you and here's to another year of adventures together book reading um and yeah i hope you enjoyed so i hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing you have a wonderful day or night and until next time friends bye <music>